Hi guys, welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. How to restore collagen in the face. Now, what is collagen? Collagen help to build the elasticity in the skin. It is responsible for your youthful appearance. Now, collagen also helps to heal the skin after you receive an injury or a you know, a bite or any form of a um, disease, collagen help to heal all of those and collagen also help to heal acne. Happy Sunday, everyone. How are you all doing out there? Now, it's really a wonderful day here in New York City. And I hope wherever you are, you're having a great day or you had a great day or you're having a wonderful morning. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. Today we're going to talk another day again about collagen because it seems like that is one of the most requested of videos. Now today we're going to get a little deeper into talking about collagen and how we can actually restore it in the face internally and externally that is. And if you're just joining, welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. We're all about collagen. We're all about you know, having our skin looking young, fresh, and also plumper, but not only that, internally having our body healthy and is able to function. If you're out there today and you're having a bad day, I just want to reach out and give you a, a big hug. Sometimes I tend to forget that never, not everyone on the chat is having a great day, but they're still here. So if you're having a bad day, I'm just sending out a lot of love for you. Stay strong keep the faith and just move forward okay now if you're happy and you know it raise your hand and continue being happy now let me do some shout out and then we're going to talk about ways to restore the collagen in our face however <clears throat> sorry guys however most of what I'm going to be telling you is going to not only benefit your face, but it's going to benefit your entire body since most of my suggestions are going to be stuff that you do internally. Okay, so on the chat, we have Y Minis. Hi, I have collagen and I'm happy. Um, Rosa, Ro I love your video. You're beautiful. Thank you. The Dalia Bo, um, Ashton Collagen College. Thumbs up, Sharon Henry. Hi, Sharon. How are you? We have Joan Walcott. Good afternoon. Thank you for helping us with our skin. You're most welcome. We have Anna Charles. Nice. Where can I find this product? Look below, guys. I list some stuff that you can use on your skin to help to boost the collagen production. Now, I'm going to tell you the very first thing about boots and collagen production in the face. It's very simple. It's very easy. And every single person that is watching the chat and every single person out there in the world can actually do this one and that is as easy as it comes to have to boost the collagen in the face and that is to drink water 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 at least eight glasses of water well let me not say eight glasses of water let me say at least eight glasses of liquid but you don't want to take in all that sugar in your water so you could drink a little water with a little lemon or a little lime and that is going to help to boost the collagen production so basic 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 Everyone can do this and it is to drink water. Notice that when you drink a lot of water, how fresh and radiant your skin tend to look because you're basically moisturizing the skin internally and it is showing on the exterior of your body. Your skin tend to look better when you drink a lot of water. And not only that, especially like for young people, if you drink a lot of water, it's not only going to help to boost that collagen production, but here it comes. It's going to help you to smell much, much better. 
okay as a teenager or you're in your early 20s you're very active you perspire a lot drink a lot of water with a little lemon and it's gonna have you smelling really really great while boots in the college and production so wherever you are quick easy simple remedy to boost the collagen production in your skin is to drink a lot of water as much water at least eight ounces a day if you cannot drink water i know a lot of people who cannot drink water like that just put a little lemon in it put a little lime in it as a matter of fact guess what you can also choose to just tip a little angostorus bitter in that if anybody know what that is and just pep the water up a little okay and you are good to go all right we have um kim carter how can i get rid of acne to get rid of acne you also need to drink a lot of water you got to make sure to keep your skin clean and you fall right under the collagen production because you are going to drink a lot of water you're going to use some tea tree oil on your skin you're also going to exfoliate the skin and a quick and easy exfoliator is a little bit of a brown sugar you could put a little bit of the same tea tree oil i just mentioned and exfoliate your skin not rough but you know you know in circular motion with fine granules so if the sugar grains are too big blend it a little use it on your skin pat dry when you're done and tip a little bit more of your um dip a little bit more of your i totally lose it guys <laughs> because I'm so into collagen and I get distracted with the acne. Tip a little bit more of the tea tree oil, rub it on your face. You can also use a little bit of an apple cider vinegar in some water. We're talking about acne right there, guys. I'm back to talking about how to boost the collagen production in your face. Um, um, Nilu, V-Y-A-S, Vivas. Ill, you're, um, you're amazing. I have reduced weight and have to tighten skin and plump and increase collagen. So you are at the right place. And we're first doing the simple, simple um, ways of boots and the collagen in your skin. Now, here comes number two. One thing you could do, another thing you can do to boost the collagen in your skin is to take some vitamin E. Now, we tend to use a lot of vitamin E and this channel and we apply it on the external of our body. I apply it on the face, the neck, the decollete. But guess what, guys? You can apply vitamin E on your skin. It's going to help to boost the collagen, but you also could take vitamin E internally, which is further going to boost the collagen. Remember, I just told you that collagen also help to heal wounds and acne scars and all these things. So taking it internally is actually great for the skin. And 10 mg of vitamin E per day is all you need. You don't need to overload on it. Just a little bit of a vitamin E in your body is going to help to boost your collagen production. Okay. Annette William. Yes, I was born in Trinidad. So of course I know. <laughs> okay. What about red spots under the eyes? Now red spots under the eyes that I would have to see because, mm, okay. Um, Trishana, thanks, Miss Chichi, for always keeping us updated. Okay, um, um, let me see. Paulette Malcolm, I my name is Paulette. My face is always dry. What can I do? And you're gonna do the first thing we just mentioned for boots and collagen in the face, and that is to drink a lot of water, 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 and then you're gonna go and get yourself a wonderful facial moisturizer. Personally, for me, if you have dry skin, I would suggest that you use a facial toner on your skin before. And I have some wonderful facial toner on this channel. So use a facial toner and get some moisturizer. Now you can um, go and get yours or you can look on my channel and use up some of my wonderful homemade serum and also my wonderful homemade facial scream that is geared towards dry skin. Okay. All right. Agnes. And karma, I, I, but you are not fair in live video. Why? I don't understand what you're saying. Okay, explain that a little more. Are you saying the video is dull? Okay, I don't know what you're saying. Okay, all right, sorry, make that a little bit um, brighter. I mean, plainer. Day Talbot, can collagen remove white or 
or spot on the skin. Um, white spots on the skin. Um, if you find that your skin is getting a lot of white spots on it, let me keep it real. Go and see your physician, okay? Because I'm not supposed to, you know, but collagen um, don't have anything to do with the white spots on the skin per se. So if you find white spot, go and see your doctor, okay? That's all I can say about that. Now, boosting the collagen in the skin is increasing the elasticity in the skin. And to increase the elasticity in, now let me explain something in case you are not a regular watcher of my channel. When you age, the collagen production slow down in the skin. Now, what is collagen production? Collagen is what keep the skin firm, tight and supple. Like when you find a person getting old and you start to see all the wrinkles, the lap lines and you know all of this thing going on, that is the skin losing the collagen production. Now, you cannot stop the collagen production from, from happening because aging has to happen, but you could slow it down. So what we're talking about today is things that we can do to help to prolong, let's say, the life of the collagen so your skin can look healthier and fresher and plumper even at you know 50 60 70 80 years old meaning you're going to look young for your age okay your skin is going to look fresh and radiant somebody was asking me on my channel today how old are you i am so curious and i get that every day like every day people want to know my age a lot of you watching do know my age and I'm not ashamed of my age. I think my skin is looking awesome for my age. And I am having a birthday coming up very soon, guys. Next month, I'm going to be... If you could see what that is. This is a big zero at the end. And something like that at the front. All right, so that's what I'm... That's going to be a milestone. So we're going to celebrate. Okay, all right, back to collagen. Now, yes, I'm reaching the stage where I most need that collagen. Oh, one more question I must address about collagen. I spoke about collagen the other day and somebody wanted to know if I do filler or if I do Botox, meaning I'm talking about collagen and I'm really not using the things that I say I'm using. I'm actually doing, you know, the whole Botox and stuff like that absolutely no your friend here as a matter of fact is not so needle friendly so i'm not gonna do that okay so what i do however i use the stuff on my channel and i do a lot of facial exercises and a lot of facial massages and i touch and i preach that everyday guy boots in the collagen production in your skin along with using these wonderful goodness try to do the facial exercises try to do the facial massages for the face and the neck and the decollete don't forget the neck and the decollete just try to do it at least three to four times a week two times a week at least and you're going to notice a huge difference these cheekbones yes i do you know i'm lucky to have eye cheekbones but there they will sag if i don't you know do this and this is what i do a lot i lift them i lift and hold and i practice that i could be just sitting down and just doing that so practice to do that it will help you a lot lover good afternoon and happy sunday my dear chichi beauty hello lovert how are you constant um chichi i'm i'm a piece to uh, March babies rock. Happy birthday in advance. Okay, happy birthday to you when it comes. And we have A to Z. You don't look 50. <laughs> Why are you spilling it out? Um, by the way, tell me what should I do for the fine lines on the forehead? For the fine lines on the forehead, you're going to do the simple... I have some anything I post with um, Fuller's Earth, guys. Anything I post with papaya, anything I post with like cornstarch, these help to tighten the skin. Anything with eggs help to tighten the skin. Okay, so you're going to use that for the wrinkles all over your face and also on the forehead. Along with that, to get the wrinkles out, your fingers like this, and you're going to be like doing it. And I do this a lot on the channel up, down up down up 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 hold and that is definitely do that for the rest of the week just just listen to me do it this week every day for 
three to four minutes and come back next week and tell me if you don't notice a significant difference to the wrinkles on your forehead. Mildred Curry, what should I use for fine lines? Okay, that's what I just used. Oh, that's another one. Crow's feet around the eyes and sagging under my chin. What's the best remedy? Thanks. Anything with vitamin A. Vitamin A is a form of a retinol and we're going to talk about that also today. And that is definitely one of the, the most popular ingredient that is going to help with the sagging skin rosehip oil or oba oil um um cake oil all of these oil is loaded carrot seed oil that is one of my favorite and you can also get carrot seed butter it is loaded with vitamin a along with that you could go and get the vitamin a capsule it's very very strong and all of these that i'm mentioning is great for boots and collagen production guys the vitamin a is oil is very very strong you do not need a lot of retinol okay so you're going to use just a little like one capsule just mix that with like about two tablespoon of whatever other oil if you have just plain old olive oil get yourself a vitamin a capsule one tablespoon one capsule like about eight thousand iu use that mix it around use it on your sagging skin your sagging neck, you're around your eyes, under your eyes with a little bit of the facial massage and it's going to help you to get rid of the sagging skin. It's going to help you to boost the collagen production in the skin and it's going to help with all those crow's feet, all those fine lines and wrinkles around the mouth. This is going to help tremendously. Okay, guys. All right. Now, uh, externally, and I just talk about it, all these wonderful oils, that's another part of boots in the collagen production on your skin. Carrots, guys, you can eat a lot of carrots, you know, to help with eyesight, but carrot is loaded with vitamin A, which is a form of a retinol. So you can take a lot of carrot inside, which is going to help to boost the collagen outside. Just throw on some carrots, put some carrots in your meat when you're cooking, put some carrot you know, squeeze some carrot juice. When I was growing up, I used to drink a lot of carrot juice, <laughs> especially on a Sunday, right? Carrot juice with some beetroot, you grate that, and or juice. Now it's all fancy. We're juicing everything. You juice that, you mix it. However, when I was growing up, they mix it with milk, okay? Mostly milk. Eventually, they kind of cut down on the milk and they start to do it with guess what? The good old lemon. Now I am um, today when I make my no milk whatsoever, I enjoy using my good old lemon or lime in the carrot juice. So drink up and there you could actually manage the amount of sugar that you put in it when you make it for yourself. The carrot itself is very sweet. If you have a juicer and you juice the carrot and the beet, you don't need to add any sugar to that. Just throw extra water in it to, you know, to lighten it and put your lime in and you're good to go sweet as ever sugar free and that is going to have to boot your collagen production and it's also going to have to flush the system out it's also going to have with the digestive system it's going to have to flush toxin from your body drop a piece of celery in that and some parsley leaf and blend that and juice that and drink it it's going to boost your collagen production okay so drink water carrot juice internally externally you use your carrot oil or your carrot butter on your skin and it's definitely going to help your face to look plumper firmer and just younger looking and that is our goal okay all right let me go back t ward hello yeah in jamaica it's either carrot juice sour sap or dragon and supplement juice on a sunday yes 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 i haven't had sour sap for a long time guys i don't want to talk about food now but let me tell you a little quick thing my father used to love sour sap juice so much that he liked to open the fridge and the sour sap juice there's just a sour sap smell i don't know what was with him with sour sap so he used to just Put the sour sap juice in the fridge, leave it open. And when you go, you take like the ice out of the fridge and all of that. Mm, everything tastes like sour sap. No, for me, I am not really so much of a sour sap person. Maybe because it was just too much in the fridge when I was growing up. Yeah, but it's really, really good. However, I have to tell you one thing more. Sour sap leaf is actually great for the body. We used to pick the sour sap leaf, boil it, put a little sugar in it. And guess what? They call it black tea at the time, but that was, you know, 
I'm telling you guys, I grew up drinking some things that now I wish I could have all of that goodness. Didn't appreciate it at the time, to be honest, because I'm thinking, ah, I need milk in the tea. Whoa, black tea again. But guess what, guys? They were doing the right thing. All these leaves that they were, you know, boiling and giving to us to drink was really helping the system, helping to get rid of all kind of, you know, little minor illnesses and stuff like that that we are not aware of. And maybe that also contributed to me having great skin right now because when I was little, the skin wasn't so good. But eventually my skin, you know, just clear up and start to look radiant. So, yes, guys. So if you have all these little things, don't shy away from drinking little parsley. First of all, basil is another thing that is great to boost collagen production. Now, one more time, when I was growing up, we call it basil, not basil, but it's really basil. And we used to drink that as a tea also. When I, you know, when I came um, here in America, I noticed that they use it for cooking and food, but I grew up drinking it as a tea, especially if you're not feeling well. You know, my grandmother just boiled up basil tea and we would sip on it warm. Now I love basil so much. It's in every single meal that I make for myself. Boots the collagen production, spices and herbs have to boost the collagen production in the skin. Another one that you might not aware of that help to boost collagen in the skin is pepper. Pepper flush the toxin from your body. When you drink all the water and a little bit of pepper, it's going to clean the system out and it's going to speed up the metabolism. And guess what? It's going to have your skin looking young, fresh, and radiant. So simple things. Most things that you do to lose weight, believe it or not, will help to boost the collagen production in the skin. Most things you do to lose weight will also show on your skin, will also have your skin looking healthier, fresher, and just radiant. Um, Nilu, um, should I take vitamin A and vitamin a capsule for collagen increase and remove wrinkles and laugh line. Yes, you can. However, when you come on to the amount, just go to your physician and ask, you know, because everybody body is different. So whenever you're going to start any form of a vitamin, visit your doctor, discuss it, and they will give you the perfect amount of IU that is you know, suit our MG that is suitable for you as an individual. I do take 800 IU of vitamin A capsule and three times a week. I don't take it every day. Okay. But I try to eat a lot of stuff with vitamin A, but I do take vitamin A, a little uh, three capsule 800 IU per week. So visit your doctor. As I said, I'm Marie Bryan. Yes, that is so true. How are you? And my Sandra F. Hello. Happy Sunday to you. I'm trying to get some of you guys. Um, well done. We have similar in age. I have been using natural remedy for years and exercising it all it really does keep aging at bay. Hi, Jason. How are you? Okay. And that's Jason Anderson. Yes, definitely. When you take care of yourself and listen to me, it you do not have to be rich to look good these days. You don't have to be rich to look good. You can just watch my channel Follow what I just these little remedies, mix and match. Eventually, you're going to be able to make your own because once you watch a lot, then you know what goes with what and use it. It's all about dedication. Whatever you do, it's all about dedication. If you take care of your skin on a regular, you're definitely going to look fresh and radiant, but you cannot do it today. Now, like for instance, what I do on this channel, I have over a million subscribers. However, when you post a video, you're not going to get a million people watching because people tend to take care of themselves this week and they don't take care of themselves next week and so on and so forth. So even though there's a million of you subscribed to my channel, I do know that from time to time, people would be like all into skincare and it happened to the very best of us. And another time we're like, ah, we can't bother. And that is the reason why we don't stay on top. 
Okay, so when we find that it gets really, really bad, then you guys, you guys <laughs> come back and be like, oh, let me go and see what Chichi Beauty have today. And then you'll do it for another week and then you'll forget about it because you have other interests and then you take a look and your skin is breaking out. Your skin is looking all, you know, rough and dry and you come back and you watch again. That is not going to work. You got to be dedicated to take care of you and not only is that you're dedicating and taking care of you but it boots your self-esteem it boots your confidence when you go out there and you know you're looking radiant and you feel good you'd stay home you do a facial mask you want to plumb the collagen you get some some um papaya you mix it with a little yogurt you put it on your skin you feel good already just by blending your papaya you start to sing a little song and you're feeling good and with feeling good guess what you're beaming because it's shining and happiness from inside actually shows on the outside you have to take a look at when you are not feeling well you're down you have a little stress and you look in your on your face and you're like oh my god what happened? I'm looking so like, you know, because you're sad on the inside. So when you whip up little things for yourself, it helped, you know, give you a little drive. And that drive alone can do wonders for you, believe it or not. One, just the time you spend taking care of you can help you to look radiant and just you know, put that little yogurt and papaya on the space, lean back, grab a book, or if you do digital, read something or watch some TV, whatever it is, or talk to your children or your hubby with it on your face. And then you rest it off, you pat dry, you use some facial toner, Star Annex Miss Week Green Tea is a wonderful facial toner. If you have dry skin, any one of my facial toner on my channel, tip a little bit of a grapeseed oil in it, shake it up and use it on your skin. Green tea, if you have no money and you have a green tea bag, boil that green tea bag, let it cool, tip a little oil if you have dry skin. If you don't have dry skin, you don't have to add anything to it. Use it on your face with some cotton pad. Use it for two weeks straight. Come back and tell me what happened. I know you're gonna come back with good news because it's definitely gonna do great for your skin. It's a perfect anti-aging ingredient and green tea is also great for boots and collagen production in the skin, internally and externally. So drink up your green tea, also use your green tea on the skin. It's great for the skin. It's going to boost that collagen production in the skin. And it's got it's have a lot of anti-aging benefits for the skin. And most people, you know, know a little bit about green tea, but we don't really drink it. I don't like green tea, but I drink it because I know it's good for me. And I use a lot of green tea on my skin. Good. But guess what, guys? Not only green tea is good. Chamomile tea is good for the face. Black tea is good for the space. They have the same property. Black tea have the same properties as green tea. Most people don't know that, but because green tea is more popular, we tend to talk more about green tea. So if you don't have green tea and you find some black tea, guess what? Use it in the recipe just as you use the green tea and you're on your way to taking care of your skin, looking all radiant. Okay, guys. Ooh, time. Carita. Hi, Carita. How are you? Um, hello, Chichi from Northeast Texas. And I, I Carita is one person that I think I met through playing a game on Facebook. And um, I won't say the name of the game. And then when I start my channel, I sent out some, you know, oh, follow my YouTube channel. And... Uh, here is um, Coretta, like three years after, still watching. Hi, how are you? Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. Okay, um, hello, what can I use if you don't have, um, ooh, guys, that just went by, whoops. All right, what about collagen tablets? Are they also effective? Can we take them and still apply your own remedy to boost collagen production? And yes, yes, yes. And as I said, whatever you're gonna take, you visit your physician before you start taking anything, but they are just as effective. If you live somewhere and you can't get all this goodness, freshness, you know, produced to use, and you can only get the tablet to take, then why not? And last week we went into a whole, you know, video talking about bone broth and all these 
collagen powder and stuff like that. So if you missed that video, go and watch Sunday Chit Chat last week. You're going to learn a lot about the powders and the pills and all of that. Okay, look below this video also. You're going to see I put some link and, you know, the broth and stuff like that. Also, further below, you're going to find all the wonderful collagen boots and stuff that I use on my skin personally, like the rose hip oil, the carrot butter, the, um, the vegetable glycerin, the carrot oil, the oba oil, all of those on the deer. And guys, guess what? I am discovering some new stuff that I'm going to be bringing it, bringing to you. I am now working on something with, guess what? You, if you watched this morning video, you'll notice that I'm using pomegranate and I'm using pomegranate because did you know they do have pomegranate powder and and oh, it's coming soon, guys, it's coming soon. But as usual, I like to work on things before, try them out, and then I come and, you know, like, like yes, guys, look, 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 listen. All right, so we're going to be coming up with some nice things that is going to do wonders. And wherever, whatever I use, you definitely will be able to find them on um, Amazon. But as you know, for instance, the... The pomegranate powder that I'm talking about, let me give you an in first. If you can't get it to buy, you just dry that pomegranate skin, wash it good, dry it, and blend it to a powder. Anyway, we're going to talk about that soon on our channel. Collagen Boots, they're out to restore collagen in your face, neck, and decollete internally, externally. Drink a lot of water. Take some vitamin A, some vitamin E. Eat a lot of carrots. Get yourself some, you know, um, beetroot and drink that, you know, with some parsley. Now you can also use a lot of wonderful stuff on the skin that have retinol and peptide and you're going to use some over oil you're going to use some vitamin a oil and you're going to use some facial mask with like papaya and also a lot of avocado and banana on the skin and these are going to help to boost the collagen in the skin just making it be more firmer now guys another wonderful fruit that is great for boots and collagen is banana and that is ripe banana so when you see me using all this banana on the skin it works wonders for the skin especially the inner peel of the banana the inner peel of the banana do great for your skin you could just scrape that out put some milk in it for my vegan subscriber just use some um, coconut cream and just whip that up splash it on your face leave it on sit with it 30 minutes, rinse it off, pat dry, facial toner, facial serum, facial moisturizer, or just put some olive oil on your skin and it's going to work wonders for you guys. So I hope I was able to, you know, enlighten you a little bit. I'm sorry, I don't take as much questions today. Also note that I don't see all the questions. I got to kind of change to that. However, when I'm done with the chat, I normally go back and watch on another tablet that I have set up where I could see all the chat when I'm done. And I tend to go through you guys' comment. But for some reason, YouTube don't show me personally all the chat. They just pick out the selective ones. So don't, you know, feel left out if I didn't um, give you a shout out. Judith Marish, thanks for this information. Nokini, that's N-K-U-N-I-M. I have wrinkles and baggy, um, and baggy eyes. Guess what? Get yourself some parsley with some green tea, a little cucumber juice. Whip that up, juice it, dip a cotton pad in it, put it over your eyes and do that for a week straight and come back and comment next week. Okay, all right, Christine Faster, love cucumber, can I use it on my face? Yes, we also have April Patterson. What about red spot on, okay, I think I read that before. Red spot and white spot, any spot that just appear is never ever good. Patricia Aris, I want to tone and tighten my upper cheeks and lower cheeks and tone my neck. I have turkey neck, but I look young. Do the facial massages. When you're done, click on my face under this. Go to my channel page and just look for those videos that I post, like massaging the face, and do that. Do it this week. Any one of the video you choose, and come back next week and comment. All right, come back next week. Make sure to do it every day. Follow along on the video. That helps a lot. Okay, guys. All right, my time. Oh my goodness, my time is up. 
Um, PAME day, do you have any video on cellulite? Yes, at least six or seven. Click on my face below. Go to, or just put cellulite, Chichi Beauty, and it's going to come up. All right, in Google. All right, we have Paulette Ambleton. I like your program. Up, up, keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Catherine Ryan, can you use carrot seed oil and face alone or mix with a carrier oil? Good question. You can use it alone, but I personally like to mix it with a carrier oil. So mix it with a carrier oil and, you know, just stretch it out catherine okay yes okay rupa are you pk are you pak what about dark spot um tomato lemon those are good for dark spots and blemishes with exfoliating the skin okay we have sharon um lewin yesterday we grew up in on those in jamaica okay great Altia chambers from jamaica oh i just missed that from jamaica carrot juice is good for the eyes um kate an e mua. How are you today? The dark patch under my eyes is still there. No sign of fading. What to do? What which are the remedy are you using under your eyes? Now, I told someone this recently that if you find that you have severe dark under eyes, you're trying all of that goodness on your skin, nothing is happening, then you need to do some form of a meditation or something because. Dark spot under the eyes also have a lot to do with you be, people being sad internally and all of that. So you got to, you know, detox your system, you know, by meditating and also cleansing the system, get some fiber, flush it out. And then, you know, you use the other things. So a lot of other factors can contribute to your dark under eyes, not only just, you know, sleep and, and, um, you know, tired eyes. Um, the the Libo F bush tea in the Caribbean was good for everything. Yes, yes, yes. And we also have um Ingly I N G L E Jansel. Yes, the sour sap is good. We have Miss Collins. Hello, what can I use if you don't have aloe vera gel and in the potato scrub? You could actually leave it out if you do not have it. Okay, for the potato scrub, that is just good as it is so you can leave it out now if you don't have the fresh aloe you can also buy the store-bought aloe but you could leave it out okay and you, you probably could substitute it with a tip just a little bit of a olive oil all right rita is collagen supplement better than the cream i think both go together both go together however you know whatever is on the inside is always best because it goes through the system and shine on the outside but for the outward skin definitely use both you know to you know further enhance it to get the best result possible all right linda Corell, what can i use for my eczema around my eyes please and what collagen do you use okay so what do i use all the wonderful goodness that i post below this video is what i personally use along with taking vitamin a and vitamin e oil okay all right um and this person is always on my chat and I don't know, you know, but you have all the TV and little face going, hi, how are you? All right. And Lucy, hello, Lucy. And Taran, hey, Taran, green tea, green tea is great. I put it in my spray bottle. Yes. Jack um, Latchman oblong tea that is most likely yes that is great and that is actually another tea that is great for weight loss great 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 oblong tea okay guys all right um i think i uh, my time is gone virginia mcintyre banana and egg wrinkle egg wrinkle my skin you're saying you use banana and egg on your skin and it wrinkle your skin maybe you leave it on too long no if you try that one and it don't work for you then go and try another one that i have try the potato and the, the the potato starch and the egg and see what happened all right chakwana um how can someone get your product my product is actually in production guys believe it or not so we will be you know selling them very very soon not killing anybody with price point price point is gonna be very very friendly okay guys so collagen 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 and i hope i'm answering the question since i'm getting so many requests for calling um sandra green private not public i don't know what that is bye sweetie have a wonderful week thanks Lerbert. guys my time is up i 
eight when somebody told me that the 30 minutes is not good enough they need a little longer however i do this because you know most people watch the video after and when you're not on the live and to be watching sometime you know if it's too long it's no good but i do a little extra today it's 8 38 minutes i love you guys go and watch the video i post i think i'm gonna change the thumbnail because i was playing around that thumbnail last night and it kind of looked you know i'm like oh my god look what i made and i just posted on it but i think i might change it but the video is very very good guys that's the video with the pomegranate scrub oh guys you've got to go and try that so when you're done look below the last video i post this morning go and watch that pomegranate scrub and give it a try once you could get your pomegranate it is really great and it leaves my skin really silky it's it's an amazing scrub if you have the ingredients give it a try all right and take care of you drink a lot of water this week do some facial massages use some collagen boots and product on your skin simple oils that i mentioned in this videos today thank you all happy sunday thumbs the video up if you're still watching thumbs up the guys thumb is up get it up to 100 thumbs up the video talk to you soon see you in my next video i love you remember to take care of you because no one else is gonna do it for you but you love yourself smile at someone and try to be at peace within yourself love you guys see you next week for another in our series sunday chit chat with chichi beauty thumbs up the video guys thumbs it up before you leave give the video a thumbs up if you like it if you're watching and you have not yet subscribed look below you're gonna see the word subscribe just click on it and you will be subscribed thank you all and i'll see you in my next video bye bye